Hey guys, Jan, I'm someone here, and this uh, is obviously a ton of toys. Um, this is actually my childhood in a box. Uh, this is something new I wanted to do, share about my childhood uh, with you guys. Um, if you probably didn't know, I've been playing Pokemon for 10 years, uh, this year officially. And as you can see, there's a VGC Academy episode uh, rendering up there on my desk. So, let's go through this box. Uh, this has basically got every single Pokemon item I've ever bought. Besides some plushes, which I will show later on. So let's start here with this foam Minecraft pickaxe. This was actually bought for me uh, last year uh, at a Christian store. Uh, my girlfriend was getting baptized, and my my mom bought this for me. We have this. I got it for Easter this year. My parents buy us gifts on Easter this year uh, every year, and uh, this came alongside my Minecraft PC card. I believe it was maybe not last year or this year's gift. I think it was this year. Um, the creeper toy here. Yeah, uh, I got this was also. Um, to, about a year or two ago uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog toy I've had this for a very very long time I can't remember when I got this uh, it was when my grandparents still lived down here I remember that then I have the the Cleveland Creeper as I call it I got a toy Cleveland Browns helmet and stuck it on his head make the Cleveland Creeper you know um, but it appears to be a ton of uh, figures of some sort let's take a look into this smaller box that is in a box all right so what we appear to have is a mario a uh nabu fighter plane thing from star wars episode one the phantom menace a tech deck dude darth vader luke skywalker and all sorts of other star wars characters uh black suit spider-man kane from wwe that's why wwe there's a limited edition i think luigi so let's go ahead and put all these back in here and close it, close back up the box. Later. Um, again, more Minecraft related stuff. A chest here. Um, let's see if I can pop this sucker open one handed. There we go. Uh, which has a pickaxe and some flint. I believe that is flint inside. Alright. Next up, we have the Werehog plush. Now, if you played Sonic Unleashed like I did. Uh, this is one of the main characters in the game, and it's still one of my favorite Sonic games. Uh, Apom. I'm a big Pokemon nerd. You probably know that by now. Um, I have this Minecraft bed. Plastic. Uh, we have this guitar, which belongs to a figure I have underneath. A Slash from Guns N' Roses. I'm a big Guitar Hero fan, which is where I grew up liking an armband from Jamaica. Now here comes the fun part. All these Pokemon figures in here and toys and Metal Sonic was missing an arm and a foot I believe. Uh, again Shadow the Hedgehog is down here now as well. Um, Alright so we're going to start up on all the Pokemon stuff here shortly. Metal Sonic again without his arm or foot. No he's got both of his feet. He's just missing a hand. Alright so we're going to start up from the top. Uh, we have this um, flip out plushy thing that was started off as a Pokeball. Here, just uh, give me a second to get it. So I'm just going to put this down here. Sorry. Uh, no. it, it's like reversible. Uh, and it's a pain in the neck to put these things back in the ball. I have two of these. I've got a Snivy, which I'll show later on. This one, however, is a Noibat. Or not a Noibat. No, I forgot his name. It's a Gen. It's it's not a Gen Six. It's a Gen Five from Black and White. I can't remember the Bat Pokemon. I have to look it up because I don't remember. This is him. I don't know what that loud crash was, but I don't want to know. All right, so we got this Froakie. As you probably tell, this was recent. Uh, my parents gave this to me as a gift to commemorate about ten years or so of playing Pokemon. Seems to which has been here. Um, got Cheruby down here. Now, we get into the figurines. Here's an Enderman. Don't look him in the eyes. <laughs> Crafting bench. Or table, depending on what you want to call it. There's a lot of figures in here. Because I've been playing, I've been collecting Pokemon figures since I was a toddler. Uh, we have a Diamond Suit Steve keychain. I don't know if that'll go on my car key ring or not. I haven't decided. Um, let's see, anything else I'm leaving out? I found Salamence's tail. 
And Salamence himself is down here. Just give me a second to grab him. There he is. So here's Salamence. Abused a little bit, missing a wing. Let me just give a second to get the tail back on. So we look a bit more professional. Okay. Yeah, that's fighting me. There we go. So there you go, Salamence with one wing, but a tail. We have a Mistrevis, my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. Mantike. Oh, too far away. Okay, Mantike. Um, Mr. Momime Jr. Uh, Zangoose. That should just dropped. Just give me a second. There he is. Zangoose. Uh, Totodile. Monsley and Metacham. Lucario. He appears to have Ludicolo's hand stuck to the back of his head. Flareon. Now I did a fifth grade project on Pokemon for 4H, and uh, this was actually one of the bigger. Was this when it was actually the centerpiece of the entire thing was Flareon. Um, Hoot Hoots. This is a gift from a friend of mine in third grade. A Monferno keychain with yeah, just a Monferno keychain. Again, doubting it'll go in my car ring. A pseudo widow with a mini Chimchar and a flame ball of some sort. I don't know what those are for. I have a Pokeball here. Uh, let's see if there's anything in it yet. I don't think there is. There isn't. This, this thing just house those keychain things. Here's another one, which sounds like it has something in it. This one's broke. This is the one that's broke that doesn't open on its own. As well, nothing in there either. That means they're all unpacked and they're hiding around here somewhere. So we have uh, one of my two Eveltal figures. This is the first one. Again, this was a Pokemon commemoration thing. Um, an Infernape. A Latius. Again, missing a wing. It's hiding around in this box somewhere. Uh, Raichu. This one's very old. I've had this one for quite a long time. I'll probably keep that one out. Uh, one of my, well, two Pikachu's. These are two of my Pikachu dolls here. Um, I'm, as you probably can tell by now, I have a lot of Pikachu-related items: a shirt, multiple figurines, uh, plush dolls, all the same. Psyduck. And I apologize for the hole in my wrist. Um, those who didn't really watch the channel that my, uh, my uh, Facebook page that much, I had a procedure done on it the other day, which is why I was inactive, I believe, two days ago and the day before that. Um, I had a wart on my left wrist and uh, it got chopped off and froze and all that fun stuff. I sent a biopsy. So we're finding out if that's really a wart. I hope it is because I'd rather it not be something serious. Elekid, this was actually, I believe, on my 10th birthday cake alongside a Pikachu. That's probably in here somewhere. Uh, one of my million Pikachus. The Elekid was on the birthday cake and actually sat right next to one of the candles I believe got burnt somewhere. I believe he saw his icing stains on him somewhere. I have to find it. Oh well. So we'll move on. Uh, there's Suda Widow again. Bonsley, I think I may have already shown this one. As well as this Meta Cham down here. Or the Cario Totodile. I have two Bonsley apparently. So I just found another Bonsley. Okay. Uh, there's the Zangoose I'd shown already. The Fireball thing. And here's a mini Happini. Like he's literally a tiny version of Happini. I found it in here. Burmy. I believe I believe I don't remember which one this is. I think this is the sand form. Now I apologize if the video is a little blurry. It's not really that good at uh, focusing in here. Grovile missing his tail. As you can tell, I probably uh, you can tell I've abused these figures over the years. And here is a very small Pikachu. Looks very ticked off. Looks much more constipated than it from the Meowth. Uh, I've been watching the anime for a long time, and I hate me off as a competitive at a competitive standpoint and as a anime fan standpoint. Uh, the limited edition Giratina figure you got when you pre-ordered Pokemon Platinum. Now I'm gonna keep this out because I can. Turtwig, and plush form, a mini plush form. This one I believe has a chocolate stain somewhere. Because I was eating chocolate one day and I stained it real bad and I never got it washed, so. Gross, yes, I know. 
Uh, there's another plush down here. This one's one of my favorite plushes right here. Uh, it's a ho -Oh. Now, I don't know how rare these are, especially knowing it's a legendary. I haven't seen many legendary Pokemon plushes around. This is the first one I've actually come across at uh, Target. That's where I got this one from. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, I've had this one for a long time since Gen 3. It's a Metagross, as you can tell, which has a moving mouth, as you can see. And has a sound bite when you push the button. The battery's dead. He didn't look like meh. Uh, some sort of tornado twister thing. I got this back in elementary school. It brings me back a long way before I moved out to this way. Chime Echo. Mew, another one of my legendaries. I've got a Groudon hiding in here somewhere. Mew is one of my favorite legendaries of all time, though. Uh, Buizel. Uh This Brock figure that I've had for a little while now. Uh, I've been wanting to get the rest of the gang, you know, Don, Ash, and all the others, but I can't find them. Uh, except for the ones that are ridiculously expensive, like 100 bucks plus, which I'm not burning 100 bucks on a piece of plastic. Uh, Monferno. Now, this one has a light up tail. I don't know if the battery's, the battery's dead for sure. Uh, I'm squeezing the arm, this usually sets it off. The light's not even coming on the tail. So you have that. I have like three of these uh, Starlies that have the wings spread apart and they actually flap. Wing, the wings actually flap. So there's that. Um, Badoo. Um, Prinplop, who is missing. Oh, well, he had his other fan, it just fell off. Uh, let's see, I'll grab it. Here. As you can tell, I'm going to use these figures. Again, the battery's dead. And will not play the sound by Grottle. Now, Grottle is one of my favorite starter Pokemon to pick at because Tur Turtwig is still, I believe, my number two favorite starter of all time. I'll do a list on my favorite starters later on. Chatot, one of my favorite Pokemon because it's actually it lets you design its own cry in Generation 4 uh, where the Pokemon was debuted. It was by learning the move tra Chatter. You could use the microphone and make your own cry. Uh, of course, I never said the right things when I said it. Sounded more like cussing whenever I used it. Another Totodile. I've got another one of these actually right here. Same pose, but it's gold. Uh, I believe it came out around the same time Heart and Gold and Soul Silver did, and it's a limited edition. I believe these are rare, the gold plated figures. So that's the only one I've got. Uh, I got, I believe, two of these Geodudes. I think I found the other one. Yep, here's the other one. As you can see, there's a lot of repeat figurines in here. Uh, Ponyta. Um, another one of those keychain Pokeballs that is empty. I appear to find one of Pikachu's tails. Uh, wherever I put them. Uh, yep, here's a Pikachu tail. Put that out. So if I find one later, I can put it back on. So here's Groudon. I said he's hiding around in here. And I uh, found him. Hiding underneath some rubble. Bronzor, in plush form. I've seen people using Bronzongs competitively lately, and I'm not a big fan of Bronzong. Cricketot, Cricketot, I may have mumbled a little bit. Yanma, not my favorite bug type, as you can probably tell by now, it's Pinsir and Beedrill that are my two favorites. But I have a figure of neither of them. Scorpy. Now what's funny is my girlfriend tried to find um, a Pikachu plush for my for our anniversary just recently. And couldn't find one. She uh, her mom sent her mom out to go find it, and her mom couldn't find one. So, and here is something one of my favorite toys of my childhood, my Hoenn Pokedex. It usually works, but I think the back oh it does work. Look at that. Uh, of course, the brightness is so bad. Can't read it. I'm sharpening the contrast a little bit. Switch to Pokedex mode. I've basically unlocked all the Pokemon in the Pokedex, I believe. Rayquaza. Let's look at Rayquaza. Okay, Rayquaza. 
shows an image and it'll give you some information including a description now this is a very old device I've seen some for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl as well so I'm gonna push this button and I don't, I don't know how to shut this off actually okay you just hold the, the same button and turn it on put that over here uh, another Bonsley plush. As you can tell, I've got a lot of Bonsley family Pokemon here. Uh, Pseudo Widow. Uh, again, that disgusting hole. They told me to take the bandage off, so I listened. Pachirisu again. I don't know if I've already shown you a Pachirisu yet. A Wormadam. Uh, in plant form, I believe. I think I've got another Wormadam in here somewhere. It's Mime Jr. I don't know if I already showed you a Mime Jr. or not, but I'm using this all over here. I've got that next to me now. Um, Dark Rye in figure form, a very large figure with his arms stuck up in the air. Move that down so it doesn't offend people. I'm gonna spin his tail around because I'm OCD. There you go. Uh, a Duskull. I think believe this. I believe this was a gift from my cousin for my birthday a few years ago, uh, or I may have bought it myself. One, either, one of the two. It was a gift, or I bought it. I don't know who gave it. It's a weird squirrel. I know this isn't a Pokemon. It's squishy though. It's kind of mesmerizing how squishy. Pretty big pencil topper. Uh, we got ourselves a Chatot here, and also in plush form. All right, so we're back here. Another error with the video recording. I've had two of them already. So you got Absol. Uh, I believe this was one on some sort of stand, then I broke on purpose. Uh, Ludicolo, this is the same one earlier that was missing in the hand that I believe was being held on to by uh, Lucario. You got some more of these little strange little ball things, but I found a Mudkip one. There's Mudkip's face on it. Uh, another Krikatot. Appears to be a Staravia. I think that was a Staravia. Uh, Apom, yet again, this time in figurine form. Cranidos, this is the second one I found. Um, got a Pokeball on a string. I don't know, this, it does not have anything in it right now. That's what it looks like. I used to play with these all around, all the time when I was a kid with my siblings and pretend we were having Pokemon battles. Got another one in, in the netball pattern. Again, nothing in it. You just pull the string and let's go. Got a heel ball. Now, nah, I believe this one may have something in it. It feels it's got some weight to it. Nope, it's empty as well. Uh, we got Munchlax here. Oh, just dropped him. Munchlax. Cherim. I, I thought this was in the heel ball. I know I had it. I have a Machop. What appears to be an old Bakugan figure. The one lasting thing from my Bakugan collection. This managed to hide away when all the other ones got thrown away. When all my other Bakugan stuff got thrown away. We have this giant Pokeball looking thing. Which I believe opens up the Pokemon Center. Here, just give me a second to try to pop it up. It's a stubborn. Yep. Here we go. Got ourselves a little mini Pokemon Center. Yep, complete with computer and healing systems and stuff. So just gonna pop that back up here. Alright. So continuing down this side, we've got a Zubat. And if you find anything that's rare, let me know in the comments. Or not the comments, I forgot comments are turned off. Uh, let me know by posting on Facebook and saying, uh, tell me exactly what time in the video. And here's the Pikachu that went alongside the Elekid that was on my cake when I was a younger kid. Um, the third Staravia, or second Staravia, one of the two. Now continuing alongside down this side, we got this Chimchar figure, or not figure, but plush that has, uh, has a sunbite that don't, that is also dead. Um, then I have this Krogon plush that my brother commonly stole. Uh, this was one of his favorite Pokemon when he was when he was younger. It was a Krogon before he actually started playing Pokemon in Gen 5. Uh, I have this water spray thingy. 
it feels really weird paint Mantyke again don't know if I've already showed Spantyke off yet uh Reg Ice very blurry pictures right now I'm seeing here I'm, try, I'm trying to get the screen to focus it's, I think it focused now uh Cyndaquil Uh, Palkia, sitting all the way in the bottom, here with his wing crushed up and his arms looking really stupid. Just give me a sec to make, make it look more professional. There we go, it's a little better. Palkia. Uh, we have another one of those drawstring Pokeballs here. This, this one's actually mine. Uh, I had one that was given to me by a friend. Nothing yet. Continuing along down here, we have Zora. Machop again. My parents, I think, thought that Machop was my favorite Pokemon. Then we have another Eveltal. This one's much bigger, though. The paint feels a little stranger. It's my fingers. So funny. Um, then we have a TNT block from Minecraft. Uh, Buneary. My sister loved this one. And I actually gave it to her for a little while, but she decided to return it. There's some mysterious reason. Um, then we got Togekiss, another one of my siblings' favorites, which I actually used competitively for a little while when I was younger. Then a Bidoof on a stand thing with wheels. Looks like he's got his own little parade float. Alright, so I'm going to scoot up a little bit. Oh, no, I just dropped something. Let's see the street so as you can see further down this side, we have cleaned out what appears to be a How to Train a Dragon thing. And here is that Wabu Fed my dad bought me after getting pwned again in the tournaments in the VGC a few years ago. Wabu this one appears to be the one that only that's managing to work. And I found out he has this clear wing here. Throw that over here so I can put it back on when I see it later. And then there is a very small Snivy down here. Very small. With a Pikachu ball. That's some sort. Anything else I'm missing down here? A mini Pikachu tail. I'm not going to grab that. So we have some more of those little marble things down here. Just give me a second to gather them all up. Bring them up. Uh, one's clear. So what we have is a Machop one. A, what appears to be a completely clear one. And then a Mew ball here. Um, the Wobbuffet plush. All uh, right, getting further down in the depths of the box here, and it's making it hard for me to grab anything. So we have a mini Chimchar and a mini Aeron, or Aeron, however you want to pronounce it. Now this um, was a keychain, but I ripped the chain off of it because I wanted to use it as a figure. So being a like seven-year-old child, I ripped, I ripped the chain off. Now we have Shellos. Now this is one of my brother's favorite Pokemon because his has the is the is the pink one that has the thing on his head, and he has a plush. So I used to flip it inside out and say, look, it's a flower. It's a big running joke with us now. Like this one, I I used to pretend it could fly by doing that and saying, like it was an airplane or something. You know, very stupid child. Um, found Ludicolo's hand down there. But a uh, Drapion. Uh, this stand thing, I think this went to one of the Eveltals. The smaller ones. I'm uh, gonna move that foot down and then of course so heard you like mudkips. That was me. I'm a big mudkip fan. I still am Now this came in Burger King with a specific trading card game thing And that's why I started going to Burger King more often was to get these items That had these little stands featured Pokemon card of course I'm not a big hip hop fan as I am a Turtwig fan, but I could never get one that had a Turtwig on it uh, Stunky that thing to death, even though Constrange Iron Flamethrower, which I thought was awesome. Uh, mining, I don't have Blossel, unfortunately. Memo Swine, one of my favorite ice types from when I was a kid. Uh, basically, once I got Gen 4 and I found out this one one existed, I tried as soon as I could to get one, and I had like three of them, and they all were really strong. And of course, they knew Ancient Power, once they wouldn't evolve. 
Now we have Empoleon and Chimchar. Chimchar's head's on backwards. Munchlax. I just dropped him. I am a klutz. Okay, so we got Munchlax again. Uh, As Elf, right here. We're reaching the end of the line, it looks like. We have some sort of weird Thunderbolt looking thing. And then this one's a Darth Vader. Phoebus, who is hated for being probably one of the hardest Pokemon to catch of all time. ho -Oh, another mm, legendary figure. Okay. This is starting to stream my back out a little bit. I'm just gonna move this giant plush out of the way so I can get everything a little easier. Uh, here is a Tepig, or Pokeboo, depending on which I like to call it. We sewed his tail down so, so it didn't stop going all over the place. Uh, he's like a necklace, like a little wristband kind of thing. He's got his band wrapped around his neck, as you can see. I could pull that off and use his wristband. One of my, I think this was my second Pokemon plush I ever got. It was a Tentacool, because uh, at the time when I got this, I had just started playing Pokemon. Uh, my first Pokemon game was Leaf Green. So I didn't have the... Um, the luck to play the Gen 1 games when they first came out, but uh, I wasn't alive then. But I do, I have played a Gen 1 game ever since. I do own one. Uh, another one of the Star Ball things. Oh, a mini Pachirisu. That's very small. Gotta get up here for a minute. Oh, man. Uh, right on. Snorlax, to go along with the Munchlax, um, Driftblim, the other limited edition pre-order Pokemon I've gotten, Ho-Oh, which I'll go with the Giratina over here, uh, a Magneton, I apparently have all three Johto starters because I now found Chikorita to go along with the Totodile and the Cyndaquil, another Rhydon, which is one of my favorite rock types, Steelix. Who's a really rock cut? And Blaziken doll. I got that. Really, should have just started collecting. Sneasel. And one of my Pokemon collector coins that should be in my other bag of Pokemon stuff, which I'm not going to show. Another Wormadum. And finally, a remote control of some sort. I believe this went to that Bidoof. It was on the stand. Alright, so I'm going to show you the last bit of my Pokemon collection. Just give me just a second to get them all moved. So now I've got to go around my room to find them. Um, that's there. I apologize. Just give me a quick second. All right. So here. You can see our couple more plushes. Now this one I just got last week. We went to Six Flags over Georgia and there are several games in there that allow you to win a Pokemon plush of some sort. And you were probably thinking, why would you try to win a Pikachu knowing your age, blah, blah, blah. Well, first of all, forget you for saying that. But um, second of all, um, my girlfriend's sister is really good at accuracy. And I unfortunately have too much power on my arm. The goal of the game was to get the ball into the bucket and make sure it stays in the bucket. But being six feet tall, 200 pounds, and having played football for two years, I had a little too much power and commonly hit the hit the thing and then hit the desk in the back afterward. But so my girlfriend's sister took over and, and hit it on the first try, and I was like, seriously. And they all looked at me when the lady asked for a prize, and I was just sitting there like, what? And I had my Pikachu shirt on, so they automatically guessed I want a Pikachu. So bam, I got a Pikachu doll here. Now this one was my very first Pokemon plush. I got this um, just shortly after I started playing. I had an orthodontist appointment one day. So my mom and I went to a Target afterward and we saw this little guy sitting in the bucket. My mom was like, why don't we get you this? It's not you're playing the game. And I was like, awesome, sure. And ever since, it's never been in that box. It's sat on any desk in my house, in my bedroom, no matter what, how old I've become. I mean, I'm 15 now, and I'm less than a few weeks in turning 16, and this is still sat on my desk, um, on my uh, nightstand alongside my cell phone at night. So, I mean, it's pretty special for me. If something happened to this, I'd be really upset. 
Now, here's Snivy, the other reversible Pokemon I have. Uh, the little bat one was earlier. Basically, you just open this pouch up. There's a Pokeball. You just flip it in, and you're good. Charmander here. Now, this looks like something you could get off the Pokemon Center because you can get one off of it. But there was a store at my local mall in Cobb County, Georgia, that had this uh, in it, in this little store. There are multiple of these. There are all sorts of different Pokemon, but Charmander was my favorite of the bunch. So I had a heated battle between getting this or Charizard, but I went for the Charmander because I liked it and it was much cuter to me. Finally, Meryl, who I commonly refer to as Mr. Squeaky, just because it was a long-running joke when I was a kid that I thought Meryl squeaked. Like a squeaky toy, so. Have that. Are that a little, uh, wait now. I'm gonna get my video game collection together now because I have a lot of those. Cross me. Alright. It's gonna be a quick second. This won't take me long. This will be the last thing I show you, despite me having multiple DVDs and stuff locked up down here. So as you can see here, there are a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy Color, and a bag of some sort. So basically in the Game Boy Advance lies my very first Pokemon game when I was six years old in the first grade. Um, Pokemon Leaf Green. Now as you can probably tell it's worn down quite bad. It has my initials or the first part of my uh, channel name if you'd like to be more specific. I got this bag shortly after I got my Nintendo DS Lite and I carried it around in this bag with all my other Pokemon games and I still use it today as a travel bag despite the game being really old now. Almost two years away from being a ten year old game. Now the Game Boy Color, the funny story was this, is I, when, I was young, when I was in 5th grade I thought that you could only play Game Boy Color games on the Game Boy Color, I didn't know you could play them on an Advance or an S, Advance SP, I found that out the hard way. So I bought the Game Boy Color, and in the Game Boy Color that is the only game I've got for it, Pokemon Yellow. Now this is the, like I said earlier, this is the only Gen 1 game I've played, and I got it when I was in 5th grade, you just simply turn on here and that low quality picture pops up. There was a time period when I was too afraid to touch it because uh, I heard of the dead alive, or the buried alive, creepy pasta thing. I'd read it, and I was too terrified to even turn on my Game Boy then. So it sat for a little while. Then I started using it again, and the battery died. The batteries died, so I replaced the batteries. Duracells. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was too afraid to touch it for a long time. The Advanced SP, however, is very worn down, and I've been tempted to replace it. But I want to get a standard advance, the long one, and I want to do some conversions to it. See, so run it off this battery with the backlit screen, you know, just to give me some extra firepower and then make it actually worth something. Um, so that about do it for this Yadam Someone video. Uh, like and subscribe for more. Um, I know this is really long monologue. It's going to be about a half hour special, maybe. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.